Hello everyone. Welcome back to our video. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the learning. Last class, I have discussed about life processes, nutrition with a clear a brief description I have given re nutrition, respiration, transportation and excretion. Right? Now let us start with re uh, reback reback all what we have learned in the last class life life is nothing but the living being alive what are all the things what are all the processes makes an organism living that are all nutrition respiration transportation excretion and control and coordination nothing but our nervous system now when it comes to the first lesson, we are in the 10th class syllabus, life processes. We are going to discuss about first lesson, nutrition. Let us start. Let us understand what actually the definition, meaning of nutrition. Nutrition, it is nothing but a simple kind of obtaining and utilization of food is called nutrition this definition itself will give you people a complete information about what is going to happen in the nutrition first thing is obtaining obtaining you know, how an organism obtain its food right and utilization how the organism is going to utilize what it has obtained. This complete nutrition, obtaining and utilization will give you a clear information about what is going to happen in this chapter. Right? The definition of nutrition, obtaining and utilization of food is called nutrition. Now, let us understand about some nutrients. What are all the nutrients? What is the definition of the nutrients? Right? The nutrients. Nutrients are the organic or inorganic substances. What is the meaning of organic substances? The substances which are obtained from the living organisms. Which we got from the living organisms. Right. And what is the meaning of inorganic substances which are all coming from the non-living world, from the atmosphere, like the air and water. Right. These are all the simple definition of nutrients. The organic or inorganic substances which act as a source of energy. The nutrients will act as the source of energy to an organism right why do we need energy we need energy to work to think to talk to act to run to do our day-to-day -day activities we need energy right for example of nutrients are the carbohydrates and fats the carbohydrates and fats will be known as or which are all the main sources of energy for an organism right then proteins vitamins and water they are also helpful in the synthesis of bio constituents of the body now when it comes to the carbohydrates and fats Regularly, we consume carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and water in a complex form, in the form of food. Right? Here, the carbohydrates and fats will act as source of energy. Then the proteins will act as the source of substances which are helpful in the repair and maintenance of our body. And it also helps in the muscle building. 
the proteins are helpful in the repair of our body when we participate in any physical activity like running or walking our muscles will be get damaged that damage will be repaired by the proteins what we will consume regularly right and these proteins are the complex forms like carbohydrates are also the complex forms and fats are also the complex form of food the simple form of carbohydrates are the glucose fructose maltose and etc the simple form of fats are the fatty acid and glycerol the simple form of proteins are the amino acids these are all called the nutrients now the next topic we will talk about the digestion digestion is nothing but the breakdown of complex substances food substances into simple absorbable micro molecules this is the digestion what is the definition of digestion breakdown of complex food substances what are all the complex food substances just now i have explained it to you the carbohydrates the fats the proteins right the digestion is nothing but the breakdown of complex foods the carbohydrates fats and proteins will be broken down by the process of digestion there are two types of breakdowns physical breakdown and the chemical breakdown nothing but the chemical digestion and physical digestion physical nothing but the mechanical one which we will uh, takes place in the mouth with the help of the teeth that is called the mechanical digestion and chemical digestion with the help of the enzymes secreted in the digestive tract in the digestive system that are all helpful in the conversion of complex food substances into simple absorbable micromolecules the simple absorbable micromolecules are when we consume the carbohydrate the simple micromolecules are the glucose fructose maltose etc and the simple micromolecules of fats are the fatty acids and the glycerol the simple micromolecules of the proteins are the amino acids this digestion will give you information about the breakdown of complex food substances into simple absorbable micromolecules let us understand the modes of nutrition like this in the definition of nutrition i have told you about the obtaining let us understand how an organism is going to obtain its nutrition by following the modes of nutrition there are basically two modes of nutrition one will be the autotrophic mode of nutrition and the another one will be the heterotrophic mode of nutrition let us understand about what is the definition of autotrophic nutrition the autotroph is nothing but the self and the tropes are nothing but the nourishment autotrophic nutrition is the mode of nutrition in which organisms make their own food from the simple substances by the process of photosynthesis therefore plants are called the autotrophs now let us understand this autotrophic definition in brief autotrophic nutrition is the mode of nutrition in which organisms make their own food see in this living world the only organisms which prepare their own food they belongs to the kingdom plantae nothing but the kingdom 
plants and algae comes under the organisms which prepare their own food. How they are going to prepare their own food? They basically require some simple substances. They require some simple substances like carbon, carbon dioxide and water and in the presence of sunlight and the special pigments which trap the sunlight that is the chlorophyll they need it with the help of them they will prepare their own food. This is the simple definition of autotrophic nutrition. By this we are we have understood and you people have understood that the definition of the nutrition what are all the nutrients and the examples of nutrients and the what is the meaning of digestion and what are all the modes of nutrition and a simple explanation of autotrophic mode of nutrition in the next class i am going to explain about the photosynthesis and the site of photosynthesis thank you my dear students thanks for watching please subscribe the channel and like the channel thank you everyone